Banjo, banjo. Check it out, man. I'm a motherfucking washing machine. So I got a E1F9 error message. Yeah, E1F9, right? It's like whatever the number that was popping up. So I don't know what the hell that means. And the owner's manual. Uh, we don't keep that around. So what we do? Google it, right? Or should I say goggle? I goggle it, typed in E1, F1, and then figured out what it is. And yeah. Gonna we'll try to make it work, right? I was wondering why water was like dripping out this, you know, washing machine and it'll come down to this drain and stuff. So, we got ourselves a shop vac and we gonna do what it do. So, oh, and then I also went to YouTube too, where I always learned how to do everything else. So, let's see how it turns out. Right? Ugh. Ugh. Nasty. Dirty water. Yeah, get the water. There you go. Yeah, get it. Yeah, put it in the water. Bonjour, bonjour. See that? So I got the water sucked out, and then I'm freaking getting to the drain. Yeah, gotta open that shit up. <laughs> This shit stinks. <laughs> Smell like the sewer. Well, fucking. What is this? Probably like over fucking 20 years of fucking lint and germs and all that shit. I don't fucking know. Look at that. Look at that. So that's. What's um clogging up my freaking washer? And that's why I was wondering one day when I was washing my clothes, I see water draining out this way. I'm like, why is water coming out? Well, guess what? Looks like I do some cleaning. <coughs> Shit stinks. <coughs> Bonjour. Okay. So, I cleaned the lint trap and stuff. And then I shot back that tube and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Stuff was uh, over 20 years of washing clothes and all that mud. So, now I'm going to try to start my stuff. And see if uh, it cleans, see if it drains, you know? Yeah, yeah, baby. So, um, yeah, trying to save myself from buying another washer and dryer. Go use some of this plink, clean a little washer. So, let's see. Put a little tablet in. I'm going to start the washer. Let's clean our washer. It's going to take about an hour and six minutes. I don't know what type of water it was going to do, but let's see if it works. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll let you know if it works. <laughs> Bonjour. Check it, check it, check it, check it. 
before I couldn't even start the machine, you know, he wouldn't even wash. Oh, water's dripping though. Water's dripping. I got a leak somewhere. I got a leak somewhere. Gotta find out what's going on. One thing after the other. But it's washing. Bonjour, bonjour. So, I fixed the drainage for my washing machine. And then now it's leaking. Because the rubber seal, I was like, why is it doing that? And they said, well, could be like dirty lint from right here. Ooh. Yeah, that. I'm going to have to clean that. But... That's not really the problem. The problem is a hole right there on the rubber seal. I don't know. Replace that, it's probably gonna be like 50 bucks to 100 bucks. But then I gotta take everything apart. Gotta bring this dryer down. Yeah, that's a lot of work. So, I went out and got me this. See this? Can you tell what it is? So flexi seal tape. You know how they say duct tape fix everything? I got me some flexi seal. They say they'll fix leak. Okay. Well, we'll see how it works, right? I'm going to cut a couple strips, tape up the hole, give it about 24 hours to dry, and cross my fingers, hope to die. <laughs> Au revoir.